a little. <laughs> All right. for you today. Oh, that's right. We're going to learn about music from some talented young musicians. And we're honored to introduce you to a special guest who came all the way from the other side of the world to be with us today. That's right. Later on, you're going to meet John Nararu Oletome. I'm, I'm sure I pronounced it wrong. I'll do it right later. From the uh, Maasai tribe near Kenya, Africa. That's going to be But cool. first, it's time for music. And right here, all around us, are members of the Notable Youth Foundation. Yes, wow. Uh, please welcome their teacher, Dan Whitley. Dan, yeah, come on. Let's get this over here. The mic for you. <laughs> well, let's just give you this uh, first of all. You'll just kind of hold that. And uh, so, are you pretty excited here to have uh, have your group on thing? It's very exciting to be here and to allow the kids to play. And it's great to see all these elementary kids because kids, if you start playing music in elementary, later on you play really good instead of just kind of good. Oh God! <laughs> well, let's uh, well let's let's hear a little bit of them now. We'll we'll meet the band in just a moment. But uh, you you've got a little uh, little thing you want to do for us here. Let's, okay. Uh, let's go through that. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, can you guys kind of help me out a little oh, bit absolutely. here? We're you gonna, bet, you bet. We're, instead of just playing for you, we're going to invite you to kind of learn the tempo. The first song we're going to do is in 3-4 time, and we're going to put the downbeat over here, and, and the, the last two beats are the off beats. Oh, uh, how about up beats? I think it'd be off beats, Eric. I think that's no. You can be on the off beat. beat. Okay, okay, we'll be on beat. What's so the? you're going to, we'll do one, two, three. Hey, we've got a third party oh, over here. Oh, okay. So you're, hey, what do I do? Okay. Now we're gonna practice oh. a little bit. Ready, two, three. One. Two, three, four, three, three, four. Oh, you like that? Stop. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, like that. Right. Can you watch Stop. the That's it. Okay. okay, we're gonna play this song. We'll let the band play along a little bit, and then we'll bring you in as the rhythm section. Okay, here we go. Sure. Very nice. One. Not, not until I see. Oh. One, two, three. Ready, two, three. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Good. That's three, four times. The next one is actually a song by Beethoven. We want to make sure, even though we're using modern instruments, okay. that we, we treat Beethoven as one of the greatest songs called Ode to Joy. In the middle of it, there's a, qu there's a quarter note dotted and then a little eighth note. It goes like this. Da, da, da. Let's see if we can do it. Ba, da, da. We got it? I'll oh, cue you. That's great. Right. Because one time through. One, two, here we go. The next one is a Latin tempo. This takes a little bit more intelligence, okay? Okay. What it is is one, two, three, four, and. Do you want to try it? Let, let's, okay. let's try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids okay. at home, you guys should be trying this clapping yeah, yeah, yeah. too. We should okay, yeah, okay. all of them at home. Hey, ready, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, and. One, two. Perfect. This group, this is a little orchestra here. All right, here we go. This all is right. a thing called Never on Sunday. And I think maybe you could do a little, uh, you know, Oh, you bet. Cha-cha dance, yes. Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, all right, here we and go. And Jesse will sing. Um, uh, uh, do you, oh, you hold the mic, you right. direct. Okay. I want to play on this one. All right, well, all right. Okay, here we go. So it's a cha-cha dance. Just, it's just fiddling around. <laughs> That's not funny. Your name is? Spencer Brock. Spencer, how old are you and how long have you been playing? I've been 13 and I've been playing for about seven years. Wow. That's a long time. Um, I'm Benson Brock and I'm 11 and I've been playing for about four years. Okay, good. You guys are brothers, I take it then, huh? All right. I'm Chauncey Brock. Mm -hmm. I'm 14 and I've been playing for about eight years. All right. You guys just all uh, play together. All right, over here, what do we got? I'm Spencer Smith. I'm 14, and I've been playing for about a year. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I can take it from here. Go ahead. Hi, my name's Summer Hanson. I've been playing drums for about four years. I'm in fourth grade, and... Is that all? That's Andy that's Hanson. That's all. Andy Hanson. Well, he is. Heck of a drummer. <laughs> Hi, my name's Eric Bingham. I'm um, 13, and I've been playing the piano keyboard for about five years. Five years. Hi, I'm Jenner Johnson, and I've been playing the guitar for about six years, and I'm 14 years old. Wow. I'm Kevin Harkness. I've been playing the guitar for about eight months, and I'm 14. Oh, oh great. Well, 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 Dan, Dan, Dan come, come in here for a moment. Uh, we, we, we wanted to point out uh, very much, we, we've got a keyboard here, and uh, that, that no one's there. Why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about that? Uh, kids, um, 
we actually put this band together for this program because one of the members of this band uh, has been sick with leukemia. Her name is Stacy Whitehead, and she's had some complications, and she's watching this television show right now from the Primary Children's Hospital. I want to say hi to Stacy from all of you kids. Hi, Stacy. We love you. Hi. Could you tell us a little bit about where a Notable Youth uh, came from, how it started? Well, the Notable Youth Foundation was formed uh, because two years ago, uh, my wife and I and some <coughs> friends uh, decided to rent a facility in the Cottonwood Mall called the Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. And we did some plays and some things. And of course, I'm a music teacher and I've been teaching for years and years. And um, so we started teaching music lessons. And of course, it's big enough over there. In fact, we're going to give some free music lessons uh, oh. during the month of April. Wow. If anybody wants to come and have some music lessons between 4 and 5 and 5 and 6 on Tuesday, come to the Lighthouse, bring your instrument, and we'll see where we can put you and see if we can get you into the program. Any instrument? Any, well, don't bring a bagpipe. And, <laughs> okay. The know, washboard might be. <laughs> washboard I can do. <laughs> and, the, and the harp, you know, we can do that. Now, Dan, you were telling me you do this because the school funding has been cut back so much yeah. from uh, the music and things. Tell us about that. Well, since 1981, national statistics say that uh, elementary school uh, music programs have been cut. I think two reasons. Number one, expense. Number two, computers. When we started doing computers, we had to put it someplace, and a lot of the elementaries uh, opted for that. I think there's a research, and I think the kids have a chance to own an instrument, pride of ownership. And if you have an old instrument out there and you're not playing it, bring it over yeah. to Notable Youth Foundation and lend it to us or donate it, and we'll see if we can get it fixed and we can get uh, somebody Terrific. playing an instrument. That would be a wonderful thing. Okay, point. great. Right. And also, we know we get a lot of the teachers and parents watching. Dan, you go around, you do assemblies at school. So if you'd like to see Notable Youth Foundation come to your school, uh, certainly get in touch with you at the Lighthouse. You got the instruments. We'll hear more of this band in just a moment. Believe it or not, they're actually going to let us jam with them for a little while. Thank you. All right, you just did seven. Right back at 90 seconds. All 90. Right? I'm going to count again. I'm going to count again. again. 90, 89. You're actually going to let us jam with them a little bit. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, probably because it's our show. <laughs> yeah, that's then, okay, well, uh, all right, you guys, uh, you guys all set? Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, I'm going to go over here on the drums. Oh, I guess yeah. I got my toy guitar. Thanks, Devin, for pointing that out, that it's a toy guitar. <laughs> See, all right, what, gonna, what are we going to do, Dan? What we're going to do is Devin's going to kind of play first, and we want you to keep a nice, simple, straight beat. One, okay. two, three, four, okay? If you, if you feel like doing, if he gets in trouble, kids, just kind of, you know, point at him, all right? Yeah, you guys really did. That's a beat pretty good. Okay. So. And now in the middle, we have a place where you do let's go. So we'll remember that. After the let's go, we're going to let go and let you do the little solo. Don't play it so low we can't hear it, okay? <laughs> oh. Play it tenor. Maybe like 10 or 12 miles away. <laughs> okay, one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha! 
again. And then when we come back. Whew. That's right, we're going to re meet a real Maasai tribal warrior coming up right after this. So we're going to go trash some hotel rooms now. We'll see you in a moment. <laughs> yeah, one more time. <laughs> website and get Eric's exam. That's right. Ooh. Answer all the questions. You may qualify to win an Operation Fit Kids prize pack. See if, you, uh, see if I can stump you. You can find my, ex uh, my exam at www.ksl.com slash tv slash fit slash uh, dot htm. Or just go to www.ksl.com and pull up the Fit Kids page. All right. Now, next week, we're going to have four golden Olympians stopping Ooh. by. That's right. Ding. Terry Strug and Dan Danson. And uh, Al and Flojo Joyner. Oh, they're going to be here. That, that's, I'm, I'm excited about that, too. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. It's our honor now to introduce you to our special guest from Africa. Oh, he's the eldest son of the chief of the Maasai tribal village hidden away in the southern border of Kenya. Please welcome John Namaru Oletome. Oh, you did a lot better than I did. John, come on out. John, wow. Hey, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh, very, very exciting to meet you. Tell me, what are you doing here in Utah, John? Well, um, I'm visiting from Kenya, and I have a mission the way I came here in the United States. Um, I'm building a school for the Maasai kids, because Maasai, we don't have any education. So the reason to build a school because uh, Maasai, we maintain our tradition. And then it was very hard because the Western culture is moving in. And really it's very hard for us because we like to maintain our tradition. So it's important to come here to raise money for the school. And really, I raised already about $70,000 wow. wow. in Kenya. What is your goal? Uh, my goal for three things is different. English, so we can help to protect ourselves. And then our number two, Swahili, so you can help to communicate with people in East Africa. And number three, it's very, very important for us to able to continue our tradition. Because the Maasai is a one of our uh, very last tribal remain tradition in all of Africa. So that's the way I'm here and talk to schools, the colleges, and go around the United States. Uh, really, Utah has been very, very good, although it's been very cold today. Right? <laughs> yeah, it has been yeah. cold. What was that like coming here to the United States from Kenya? It had to be different. Uh, really, it's, a, it's, it's very different. Uh, my first time in a plane ride, and as soon as the plane took off, my stomach came all the way up to here, <laughs> and my ears. And then, um, you know, the plane lands in Europe, so I, I have a one about five hours to lay over there. And then it landed here in the United States. It just, middle of the winter, really, I don't... I would see, well, I said, you know, you need a blanket. Oh, and I don't want a blanket. <laughs> and then I need that blanket later. Because <laughs> it was freezing cold. And then uh, the plane land, I come out with the, with the plane. There was a policeman waiting me in the door to direct me where to go. And I didn't know this guy. He told me, hey, are you Mr. John all the time? And I said, yes. In my mind, I said, how this guy know me? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, he came and said, okay, come with me. I'll be told, don't give anybody your passport. <laughs> this guy have her, you know, he said, give me your passport. So, he's a migration officer. He said, no, I'll be told, don't give anybody your passport. So they tried to ask me a separate time anyway. So I give it to him, stamp it. We went back. He told me, go through that door. It was automatic door. I live in a mud hut. So this guy <laughs> telling me go through automatic door. I don't know what is automatic. He said, it's open by itself. I said, definitely this guy is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me go through the, the window. <laughs> you know, so I came. The door is open. I step back. I would say, this is a plan to go to kill me here. <laughs> Soon the door is open, I jump through the, the door. I was a little bit embarrassed by that. I'm supposed to see. And I actually have a choice to stay with the family or to go to the hotel. So I decided to stay with the family. It was fun, but you know, it's many things is normal for them. For me, it's not because Masa, we don't have any electronic things. There's no TV, no radio. So the first thing I see was, you know, ah, this is our TV. And this is a remote control. <coughs> so boom. First thing I saw on the TV was elephant. I said, what in the world elephant go inside the box? <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we you know, we went to sit down and eat. And they, so we didn't eat and say, what do you want to eat? A friend of mine tell me, the fast food to eat in the United States had to be McDonald's. <coughs> and I said, McDonald's? 
All right, so I went to eat there, and ah, ha, ha. Now time to go to sleep. I never hear in my lifetime about a TV. No, sorry, um, a telephone. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to my room, I closed my eyes, and I put a light off, and a phone rang. And it was a, it was a phone and answer machine together. And the answer pick it up. Hey, Bob, it's me. Give me a call tomorrow. I think it was nobody in this room. That's me. So I wake up, I put a light on. I look at it. Ah, it's nobody, so I run. <laughs> I wake up, Bob, somebody in my room. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you're crying a lot of fun. In, in Massa, we don't have time of the day, so you should live the, the sunrise, you know, and we call it a day. Sunset, we call it a night. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no week. Like the, today's a weekend, it can be Monday or it can be Friday every, every day the rest of your life. It's also, is no calendar to say today's May or June or December. Religion in the mass science society, we believe a blue sky. That's it. And we say blue sky, it gives Maasai cows, nobody else in this world. So it's no such thing like a birthday. It's speaking, I don't know how old am I in our society. We never really tell how old we are. So the, the important thing is growing like a baby, as a baby, and that's a way by height to tell how old we are. It is something important we never miss, as pull the teeth out, because oh, it's oh, very oh, important oh. for us. Oh. Is tradition, if somebody's sick, we use herbs or seed as a medicine. Boil in the water, we have a malaria and tetanus. Malaria is, you know, like a flu, we can get medicine, drink it. Tetanus is very hard because your teeth locked. So there's no way to give you medicine. So we pull oh, the teeth so the out. Teeth we will the teeth hey, out. Hey, hey Jen, you're fasting. Can you can you come back and do a whole yeah, show with us? Please, I mean, we, we don't have please. near enough time. Come back another show, please, John. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. First plus.